Hi everyone, it's me, Genevieve, and welcome to another day in paradise. Now, I certainly found paradise today. This has been amazing. I just found a random trail. Um, practicing safe distance from other people, definitely, because I haven't seen anybody on this trail. This is amazing. So I took Zorro out here. We are exploring this countryside, and it's gorgeous. And right now I'm kind of balancing on a sycamore tree that I found off to the side of the trail. And the leaf layer is so thick here that I literally am teetering on a log, um, trying not to fall in. But um, it's beautiful. I mean, sycamores themselves are amazing trees. Did you know that they produce 100 gallons a day? day of water out of their leaves. They transpire it. Um, they do a uh, transpiration, so they release water into the atmosphere. Uh, they have big, beautiful, fuzzy leaves. Uh, maybe I could show you that in a second. But we're going to go exploring and just have a beautiful day today and um, make sure to get out and not feel trapped inside. I know that a lot of people are saying, no, don't go outside, but you can go outside if you can find a place that's like remote. And um, I definitely find those places <laughs> and it's been amazing. And um, so we're just gonna explore. So take care, we'll see you on the trails. Here is, oh wait, let's get a, a nice leaf here. Here is a nice sycamore leaf here how pretty that is so underneath you can see it's a lighter color dark on top light on the bottom so the darkness absorbs the light and that way it can get the most Sun because it's a very tall tree look how fuzzy that is I mean you can't really feel the fuzziness but it's so soft and um, you can see how big these trees grow. This is a big tree. Yeah, sycamores. They're awesome. Yeah, take a look at the map. Where the heck are we? This is nice. There is nobody here. It's just me and Zorro. This has been amazing. Finding the paths. We could either go right or left. Uphill or downhill. Which way do you want to go? Uphill? Downhill? Hmm, what do you think? Maybe uphill? Oh.
on this bridge kind of going over this creek there's no water in it right now but I wanted to show you something if you did not know because a lot of people ask when you go out on trails what poison oak looks like there's a bunch of it lots of it let me see if I can get up close to it here's a close shot oh look baby poison oak how cute so this is poison oak it comes in different colors. It comes in greens. It comes in reds. It could be um, a shrub, a tree, a vine. It could climb up over other plants, kind of pop through and surprise you like this. Hello. This is a good example of poison oak. Now, poison oak is on the west coast. Poison ivy is on the east coast. And it likes to grow around water. So usually you won't find it in like, you know, high mountainous areas that are like chaparrales that get a lot of sunlight. So they like a lot of kind of covered area and a lot of water. They like to be close to water. And that's why this is growing right here next to this creek, a good patch of it. And a saying that you can remember to make sure um, you know not to touch poison oak. Goes a little something like this. Leaves a three, let a bee. If it's hairy, it's a berry. If it's shiny, watch your hiney. <laughs> so you can see it's poking up all throughout this brush here. All this poison oak. Now I used to have a friend who would teach about poison oak and he would always say he'd never have a reaction to it and he'd always do it and take a leaf and take it right off the bush and rub it all over and be like see I'm unaffected and one year he finally got it so some people are immune to it but that can change yeah so you just never know I like to use stuff called technu if I ended up if I end up accidentally touching this stuff, I use Technu, and uh, you just kind of put it on the area where the oil got on you, and rub it in and wash it off. Now it's the oils that cause the reaction on the on your on the body. So even if you get oils on your pants or your shoes, and then go to take off your shoes later, you can get poison oak. I've gotten poison oak from a cat before. She just came in my um, shelter that I built and was like <laughs> snuggling all with me. Just with a random cat. Ended up getting poison oak the next morning. So I think she was in poison oak. But it really is a beautiful plant. Now this is cool. It looks like this is an area where you could eventually get a waterfall. Sick. So next time it's raining, I should come back here. It'd be muddy though. It'd be tough. Man, this is a cool trail. Score. Never even knew. So there's a little river. Kind of running along the base here. I just don't know how to get down there. A break. Look, I'm sitting on a bridge. Just came from up there. I decided to take another route back. Any ideas?
steps. Look, it's a velvet ant. Did you see that bird, Zoro? That was one that eats ones like you. Ooh, you saw it. You spotted it. We made it back to the trailhead. We are back to civilization. <laughs> now, I've hiked quite a few miles thus far. I don't even know how far. I just kept on walking until I felt like turning back. It was starting to get dark and a little chilly for Zoro here. So he's all bundled up and um, we're ready to go back home and relax, take it easy. Remember that this is just our chance right now to, um, you know, take it all in and heal ourselves and let nature heal. It's actually pretty amazing, um, the research and the studies going on right now and um, everything that's happening with the air quality coming back um, to good quality levels and you know animals showing up in places where they don't really don't go anymore because we've encroached on their space and it's just it's just really nice time or it's a nice time for us to you know unwind take it all in even though I know everybody's going through a lot right now um, just stay safe out there and take it easy <laughs> all right I want everybody to have a wonderful wonderful evening say goodbye Zoro and um, we will see you soon thanks for liking subscribing and hitting that bell <laughs> have a good one <laughs>